But hi guys, so let's start the next episode of 5 MCQs in 5 minute through which we are actually revising 5 ultra important topic. The exam that we are focusing right now in the line is going to be your INICT. So there will be more questions from INICT oriented but rest assured this series is going to be equally beneficial for NEET PG, FMG aspirants as well. Let's see what I am having today as a first question today. It's about a patient with the rash inguinal lymphadenopathy. There's a history of sexual contact with a sex worker and as soon as you see this image on the dark field microscopy, you know, the corkscrew pattern of uh, the organism that is one of the spirochete, the diagnosis is going to be your syphilis. And we already know examiner is asking best agent for this condition. So earlier the same question they used to ask which is the best drug for syphilis but now they are trying to make it at a clinical base and they have given you image base as an image and clinical history as well and then they are asking best agent for this one so best drug for <coughs> syphilis is going to be benzathine penicillin g benzathine pen g that we are having it is actually given as a intramuscular depot preparation depot intramuscular preparation we are going to utilize however sometime they use the term for neurosyphilis so for the neurosyphilis also we will be utilizing penicillin G only but the preparation will change aqueous benzathine penicillin G aqueous benzathine penicillin G the dose will also change and the preparation will also change okay here in the usual case of syphilis we will be using 2.4 million unit 2.4 mu okay now amoxicillin is uh, what is amoxicillin it's one of the penicillin azithromycin it's one of the macrolide Cefixime is one of the third generation cephalosporin. It's one of the third generation cephalosporin. All right. Let's see the next question. Uh, drug preferred. Now, uh, some of you may be thinking, ki, sir, detailed discussion pura ho jai. So, detailed discussion, agar main syphilis ka hi karunga, it will take some time. I'm sure you can understand. In our regular lectures, we have everything in more detailed discussion. Every final detail we have covered. Now, a question like this, we have already covered in one of the, our previous episode, like in episode 22 or 23, if I'm not wrong. But this time, they have asked, uh, drug preferred for early phase of East African sleeping sickness. I have told you the story, East African, West African, West African are the best African. So, you can correlate from my previous episode of 23 if i'm not wrong so west african are the best african they copy western culture and they live in a western people like environment that is in a penthouse so that is for the pentamidin for the west african sleeping sickness for the west african and east african so he will say ki so raha hai kab to so ega to melasoprol if it is late part so that will be again late part mein it will be melasoprol melasoprol hai na is West African ka early part mein there will be pentamidine and late part mein we are going to have late part mein we are having e flornithine e entire story we have covered in our previous episode right late part sometimes they do not use the term late part they say there is CNS involvement amphotericin B is the drug of choice for Kalazar this information also we have covered and also can be utilized in other condition like the serious uh, fungal infection maybe also we can utilize benzidazole can be utilized for chagas disease okay that, that is chagas disease also south american trypanosomiasis interleukin 2 receptor antagonist now when they ask the specific term interleukin 2 receptor antagonist remember the agent like daclizumab other agent like your basiliximab they can be utilized in multiple sclerosis. It can be utilized in a patient with a multiple sclerosis. Dacli D se do yaad kalo. D se do. And B is the second letter. D se do. B is the second letter uh, in the alphabet. So they are the interleukin 2 receptor antagonist. Interleukin 2. Now there is a slight change in the term and the answer will change. In one of the examination, examiner asks interleukin 2, interleukin 2 activation inhibitor. Interleukin 2 activation inhibitor is same as saying calcineurin inhibitor. So calcineurin inhibitor will be drugs like your cyclosporine, cyclosporine, tacrolimus, cyclosporine and tacrolimus, they are the calcineurin inhibitor, they inhibit the interleukin 2 ka activation, interleukin 2 agar activate ho gaya, to receptor antagonism of interleukin 2 will be your daclizumab. Secukinumab, it's one of the interleukin 17 antagonists, remember secukinumab can be utilized for your chronic plaque psoriasis, for chronic plaque psoriasis we can utilize. 
टोसिलीजुमैप आयास की टू नंबर टोसिक्सिलीजुमैप टोसिलीजुमैप टोसिक्सिलीजुमैप दिस इज वन ऑफ द इंटरल्यूकिन सिक्स एंटागनिस्ट कैन बी यूटिलाइज फॉर रोबेटॉइड अर्थराइटिस इन्फ्लेमेटरी बॉल डिजीजेस एंड सेवरल अदर कंडीशन वेयर एवर वी रिक्वायर इम्यूनो मॉडुलेशन एल्डेस्ट ल्यूकिन इट्स वन ऑफ द इंटरल्यूकिन टू का एगोनिस्ट इंटरल्यूकिन टू का नॉट एंटागनिस्ट दे आर द इंटरल्यूकिन टू का एगोनिस्ट सम टाइम वी आर गोइंग वी आर गोइंग टू गिव एल्डेस्ट ल्यूकिन है ना इट्स एनालॉग है ना आई वुड से इंटरल्यूकिन टू का एनालॉग Sometimes we are going to give them in therapy of condition like renal cell carcinoma to induce our own uh, no, immune uh, responses. And so sometimes interleukin two agonist or analog is given. Eldest leukin is one of the analog. Next, this agent act by targeting fungal cell membrane by inhibiting squalene epoxidase. It's not a peroxidase. It's actually epoxidase. Thoda sa correct kar lijiye. Squalene epoxidase. Enzyme and it utilizes mainly in the Schoen condition. So, what is the Schoen condition? If you, I can zoom it in a bit, then you can understand there is a fungal infection of the nail, and we call this one as a onychomycosis. So, examiner is simply asking which of the following drug will be utilized in this condition, and that is also having squalene epoxidase. A lot of information has been given in a question like this, and you can directly go ahead with the drug that is terbinafine, which one, of, which is one of the squalene epoxidase inhibitor. It's one of the squalene. epoxidase inhibitor the rate limiting enzyme for the cell membrane formation in the fungus ketoconazole this is one of the c14 alpha dimethylase inhibitor c14 alpha dimethylase inhibitor amphotericin b they are going to act by creating pore in the fungal cell membrane creating pore in the fungal cell membrane they are sidle agent griseofulvin it's one of the mitotic spindle inhibitor they are the mitotic spindle inhibitor remember they are not going to allow mitotic spindle and therefore fungal cell fungal division will be uh, targeted here griseofulvin can also be utilized in dermatophytosis but if you have to utilize one compound squalene epoxidase inhibitor the answer will be directly terbinafine okay next in the line that we are having in a patient with parkinsonism a newly approved agent rotigotin was started what is the route of administration now rotigotin what type of drug is rotigotin rotigotin is one of the non ergot dopamine receptor agonist non ergot dopamine receptor agonist okay dopamine receptor ka agonist hai ye ठीक है नॉन एल्गर डोपामिन रिसेप्टर एगोनिस रिमेंबर दे आर अवेलेबल बाय द ट्रांसडर्मल पैच रोटी गोटीन अवेलेबल बाय द ट्रांसडर्मल पैच इन अ जनरल फार्मा लेक्चर आई यूज्ड टू टेल यू द ट्रांसडर्मल पैच इज कमिंग ऑलवेज अंडर द सिस्टमिक रूट ऑफ ड्रग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन व्हाई बिकॉज़ व्हेनेवर यू गिव अ ड्रग बाय द ट्रांसडर्मल पैच इट विल बी हैविंग स्लो कैपिलरी अब्जॉर्प्शन एंड आफ्टर स्लो कैपिलरी अब्जॉर्प्शन इट विल बी कमिंग टू द सिस्टमिक सर्कुलेशन सो अमंग द गिवन चॉइसेस इफ यू हैव टू चूज वन इट विल बी सिस्टमिक रूट इट्स नेवर गोइंग टू बी टॉपिकल because the definition of topical is site of action is same as site of administration jahan pe dawa lagaya jahan pe medicine diya wahi pe effect aayega that is the definition of topical example of topical can be let's say eye drop example of topical can be cream example of topical can be lotion if there is a patient having nasal congestion in that condition nasal decongestant if you are going to give then that will be again topical the simple definition site of action is same as site of administration if you have a problem here you apply the drug here and you get to see the effect here hai na but if you have a problem let's say something related to the brain let's say something as uh, problematic as parkinson disease in which we are actually utilizing you know uh, rotigotin brain ka problem but you are going to apply transdermal patch let's say on the upper part of the on uh, upper part of the back where the hairless uh, part that we are having or you can apply on the medial aspect of the arm so wherever you are going to apply any transdermal patch remember there will be slow capillary absorption and the effect will be coming systemically right so correct answer for this one is going to be transdermal patch is not intradermal not topical hai na jab word intradermal aa jaye to please remember intradermal means it will be injectable example of intradermal can be your bcg bcg G vaccine is intradermal, and that will be an example of injectable or intradermal. So intradermal is different from transdermal. Do remember that it's not sublingual. Nitrates can be used sublingually. Huh? Nitrates can be utilized sublingually, right? So this was uh, five important topics for all of you guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can download all the previous PDF on this Telegram group that we are having. And you can also follow me on Instagram, where we are continuously posting some important and interactive flashcards. है ना सो आई होप टू सी यू गाइस इन अपकमिंग क्लास थैंक यू वेरी मच